Hey everyone, all right, so uh, <clears throat> I'm installing my Pro Charger and I realized that I have 87 in the tank and I need the 93. So, of course, I went over here to this side and I decided to siphon it, but I guess these neck fillers have a one way valve in there. So, I couldn't siphon it out. I was going to drop the tank, but that would be too much work. I was looking around online trying to figure everything out. Um, so, what I did was I pulled this fuse to release the uh i pulled this fuse to disconnect the uh fuel pump and then i just cranked it a bunch of times so that way it clears the fuel out of the system and then i took the line off here on the fuel rail this is pretty easy to take off there's like a little red clip uh pull it out and then squeeze the squeeze the line and then I'll come right off. There will be a little fuel that comes out, but uh, just have like a rag there to catch it. Again, pull this fuse and crank it a few times before you pull that, that line off. Otherwise, it'll be under pressure and it'll, it'll probably go everywhere. Um, so then what I did was I took that line and I put it in a milk jug. And then instead of cranking the key and cycling it a bunch of times, all I did was I jumped the relay. So... So that fuse that I was talking about to pull for the uh, for the fuel pump, um, it is fuse 13, and this is a 2014 V6. Um, I'm sure it's a similar on the GTs, 11 to 14s. So this is fuse number 13. It's a 20 amp fuse. Go ahead and pull that. Crank it a bunch of times. Take the line off. Uh, make sure you got a rag there, and then I put the line in the milk jug. And then what I did was I pulled this relay off. And it is relay number 41. It's going to be this one right here. Go ahead and pull that off. And if you flip the relay over, you'll see on the pins, it'll have a 1, 2, 3, and 5. So then match the pins up. And what you want to do is you want to jump pins 3, which is this one. I don't know if you can see that. And 5, which is the one adjacent to it right there. So then what I did, um, I don't know if you could, you'll probably be able to hear it. So then when you touch these, instead of cycling the key a bunch of times and killing the battery, um, you'll actually be able to just cycle it right from here. And you can hear the fuel. I don't know why it's not going continuously, but I mean, this beats this beats having to cycle the key friggin' a thousand times. So you just keep touching it there. Every time you touch it, it'll prime the system. Again, that line goes right into the milk jug, and then uh, when that gets full, it's about a, it's a gallon milk jug. So then when that gets full, I've just been dumping it in a five gallon, you know, gas can or whatever. There's a two and a half because I filled my five gallon up. But I figured this would probably be the easiest way, fastest way instead of dropping that tank. I don't, again, I don't know why it's not running continuously, but um, who knows. It's a lot easier than turning that key and getting out every five seconds and checking to see if this is full. And So if you got any questions, just uh, leave a comment. I'll do the best I can to uh, respond to them. All right? Take care. Bye.